Do we have to keep looking? It's been days since I've eaten anything other than this nasty bread and beans you packed us. Man, would I die for a turkey leg or some lamb. Well, you don't appreciate my cooking? Not one bit. In fact, I think the beans are starting to upset my stomach. Quit being such a baby. You heard the king, we can't go back to catch those Israelite spies. Well, what are those Israelites doing in our land to begin with? What do you mean, what are they doing in our land? You know what they're doing here? No, I don't. You're kidding me. I'm not. So unless you have a good reason as to why we're still out here eating five cans of beans a day, I would like to return back to base. Look, I'm just as upset as you are here. Do you think I enjoy smelling your farts every day for these last few weeks? Well, you should have packed something other than those beans. That's all we had at camp. And for your information, we have a good reason to be out here. Word on the street is that those Israelite spies have been sent by a man named Joshua. They've come into our land, the land of Jericho, to see just what our land is like. But why? Supposedly, their God promised them this very land that we stand on. What? That's impossible. What God would be able to destroy a huge, powerful army like ours that includes giants? Not to mention the walls of our city are massive. That's nothing for what their God can do. Supposedly, the Israelite spies were once slaves in Egypt, but their God saved them. He dried up the waters of the Red Sea by parting it. There were walls on each side of the water. They were able to cross the sea on dry land. What? Are you, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. How could you not have heard about this, this God that they serve? It's probably because I've been on the toilet because of all your beans. Okay, enough about the beans. We need to be serious about finding these Israelite spies before it's too late. Too late? Yes, too late. Why do you think the king ordered us to not return until we find the spies? He knows that if they scout this land, make a plan, and trust their God, that we will be destroyed. Oh, I mean, I get the fear, but we did everything he asked of us. He ordered us to go to Rahab's house. Right, but what happened there? Well, we went up to her house, knocked on the door, told her what the king said, which was to bring out the man who came to her and entered her house because they have to spy out the whole land. Right, and what did she tell us? Well, she told us that the men came to her, but she didn't know where they had come from. At dusk, when it was time to close the city gates, they just left. She didn't know where they went and that we should quickly go after them in order to catch up with them. Right, and that's when you started sprinting around the city. Well, that's because I was looking for a toilet. Your beans was giving me some horrible gas. Yeah, don't, don't bring up my beans again. I'm fine, I won't. But like I was saying earlier, we did everything the king asked of us, so can we please go back to camp? I would love a good pomegranate or a fig. Okay, I get it, but no, we cannot go back just yet. The king sent us to Rahab's house, but I can't help but think she tricked us in some way. We need to go back and search her home. Can we do that? Don't we need permission? Wait, look up there. Where? At the window of Rahab's home. What is that? It looks like a scarlet cord or something. I didn't see right. that there before when he, when he asked where the spies were. Why do you think that's there? I don't know. Maybe for decoration? Don't be silly. Uh, well, don't be paranoid. I'm sure it's nothing. Wait, do you hear that? Hear what? It sounds like footsteps marching around our city. Maybe hundreds, maybe even thousands of men. I need to see. And I need to see about finding a toilet. My stomach is cramping because of your beans. I told you not to bring up the beans again. Whew. Man, I sure do feel better. How about you? Dude, we have awful news. What can be worse than your nasty beans? Why the beans again? Can we stop talking about the beans? We have worse issues than the beans. I don't know about that. That restroom was pretty stinky once I left it. Okay, stop. The Israelites have surrounded the city and are marching silently around our walls. Well, that's weird. No, that means trouble. Not to mention I just overheard from the other guards that Rahab betrayed us. What? How? She had heard of the great things that God was doing for the Israelites. Did she keep the Israelites at her house? Yes, she did. Oh, no. So you're telling me that we could have been at the base by now, eating steak? What is with you in food? Do you not understand the trouble we are in? Rahab kept the spies on her roof. She hid 
them under the stalks of flax and told them of how she had heard of the power of their God. She even dared to ask them to show the kindness she showed them while they were in the land. Why is she betraying us? That's because she believes in the God of the Israelites. Supposedly, she let the Israelite spies down with a rope in the window and told them to hide themselves from us. Afterwards, the spies told her that they would return to take the land, but save her family. Save her family from what? From destruction, duh. I have been told that she has placed her trust in their God and the one that has set the Israelites free and has provided for them. She is hoping that God will show her mercy. Mercy? What's that? Mercy is when we don't get what we actually deserve. Our punishment is actually withheld from us. Hmm. But do you think God will still show her mercy? I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't. Well, I think she deserves to be put in jail for what she's done to our nation. Let's go arrest her right now. Wait, what was that? The Israelites, they're blowing their trumpets. Oh, are they giving us a concert? I don't think they would be that kind to entertain us. Now they're, now they're shouting. Well, this is a strange battle plan if they're planning to take over the city. Do you think they would have brought slingshots, swords, and shields? The city walls, they're falling. What? Look, their god is giving our city to the Israelites. No, this can't be happening. My last meal on this earth will not be beans. Hide the beans again. Quit joking around. We need to go and fight. <laughs> 